go. Hey, everybody. How are you? Uh, welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. I'm Tony Green, and I will be giving you messages today. If you would like to ask a question, any question at all, about life, love, finances, career, you can call in. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. So I'm going to get started in a second. And I'll be taking callers, answering one question, one question only. And um, yep, that's it. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Oh, no, that's not everything. <laughs> I'll also be doing clearings for folks. So whether you're listening, re-listening, the person on the phone, um, the clearing will um, help you. Whatever the clearing is on, it will help you. It's designed that way, who's ever listening or re-listening. And you can go back and re-listen to any of my other shows or re-watch any of my other shows. And those clearings will help you also. And oh my gosh, I feel like I'm so not together. And it's because they're already trying to channel through me. And I'm avoiding what they want to say. Um, I'm completely avoiding it. I'm I'm kind of having a in my head argument with a spirit about the messages they want me to channel today starting off. But here we go. Okay, so usually I start the show with a clearing and they are asking me to reformat my show and start the show with um, channeled messages. And some of these messages will be predictions of what's coming in. Now, this is where I say, I'm a messenger. If you don't like the message, there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. You might want to check why you don't like the message. You can do your own research. Some of these things haven't happened yet. Um, back last year, um, I made some predictions on air that there were going to be some explosions or bombings and that did happen it happened in other countries and then it did happen in our country as we know um but all of it one of the things they said we are completely safe one of the things that everybody needs to oh, i'm channeling folks <laughs> they've just taken over the show <laughs> um one of the things everybody needs to be perfectly aware of is these things that are going on are very choreographed they are extremely choreographed. There is no uh, malicious intent. There is cover ups going on with some of the things that have happened in the past and some of the things going on right now. I just feel like this show is gonna be, I feel like I'm about to lose my YouTube station. <laughs> If they keep going, I'm going to have to start all over again with a new YouTube station, folks. Okay. They're telling me just let them talk. So I'm going to just let them talk. How do you guys like that today? Give me a hands up. Hey, everybody on YouTube. Hey, Genevieve. Um, and everybody else, I'm, I'm trying to lean in because my eyes are... Uh, I think that's Brittany. Thank you for joining me. Okay, okay, I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding. Okay, one of the things they want you to know that's coming in. Oh, it's really important for people to know no matter what country you're in, things are about to change drastically. This is an organized movement. What has been going on is an organized movement from the top, not the top of your political uh, situation in your personal country. It goes beyond that. A lot of truths are about to come out. A lot. I mean, like truth after truth after truth. You believe what you want. I'm not here to change your beliefs. I've said that since day one. I'm not here to change anybody's beliefs. I can give you information. You can choose to see that information when it comes out. You can choose to ignore that information when it comes out. Okay. it's And whatever you do, it's not going to change my life in any which way. No, no way whatsoever will my life change if you decide to uh, believe or disbelieve anything that comes out. Okay? Okay. 
So um, a lot of truths are about to come out. As these truths start to come out, you are going to realize that you have been bamboozled and on a huge level, and it has happened to the masses. Oh, they're completely taking over. Here comes the accent. Watch, my eyes are about to change color too. <laughs> I love when this happens. It's awesome. As these truths come out, the people will take action against their governments. These actions will be in the form of class action suits, private suits, and civil suits. These actions will come from individuals as well as businesses, not only sole proprietor businesses, but corporations, big corporations. These actions will not only be taken against political figures personally in civil type suits, whatever you call it in your country is just fine, but these actions will be taken against the whole of the government of your state and countries. These actions will also be taken against individual practitioners and doctors, as well as hospitals. Because as these truths come out and people realize what has really been going on and the totality of the damage that it has caused personally and personally and uh, universally, there will be a new united front that moves forward. For each country, this will start to enact at separate times. In some countries, this may already in some way be going on. Other countries are catching up. But once the word spreads, once it's out there, it will catch like wildfire. This must be done to enact correctness to bring in correctness and to release all corruption. Okay, I'm done. That's it, enough for one day. <laughs> We're gonna move on now. You don't know, you, you, have no, you have no idea how nervous this makes me. Not, not because I'm channeling, I channel all day, every day. I, I do it from the time I get up till the time I go to the bed. No, it does not make me tired or exhausted or, oh my God, it was such a big deal. If you're channeling the right source, you feel, you feel hella good. I mean, you feel like, wow, I can take on the world because angels are coming through you. Angels are speaking through you. Um, and that gives you that energy. Okay. So what I want to say right now, um, is but but the the content of the information they're bringing through me makes me a little nervous because I know there are we we have been intentionally divided a nation or a world divided will never be able to act in unison so we have been intentionally divided for the purpose of greed and corruption and power and control. Yes, yes, yes. If you knew the truth, if you knew what they're real, oh my God, this is not the show I wanted to do today. I was going to take callers. I was going to answer some questions. And every time I try to get back to that, Woo, here we come, Won't right back down to the center, but this is my job. This is what I agreed to do. I made an agreement with them. Whatever information they want to bring through me for the masses, I do it. That's part of it. If you knew the true, the truth behind the curtain, and what the final plan is, and I do, I do, I, I see it, I, I personally, Tony has seen it, you wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So start, oh God, uh, look at things from a different perspective. Look at things from different eyes. Look at things in a new way. There's a reason we are bringing these messages to you now in this venue. You might not like hearing this. You might not want to hear this. 
But if you don't take the time to listen, all that you hold dear may change. If you think for one moment they're going to give you back your freedoms without a fight, that has never happened in history. You need to, at this time and point, take whatever course of action you can to take your world back. You were born free to be free, not under the control for the guise of corruption and political gain. Okay, I'm done. I'm done channeling. I'm going to go to my first caller. Please don't shoot the messenger. I hope that was helpful for those of you who are listening. Hoi vey. 806. Hello, 806. How are you this morning? Oh, wait. I hit the wrong button, 806. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. You're coming. Or oh, it's 805. It's actually 805. Hello, 805. How are you this morning? <laughs> Hello. 805. Hello. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay, if you're on speakerphone, please. You? Good. If you're on speakerphone, please take it off of speakerphone because the background noise will be very loud. Okay, I'm on speakerphone. Is that better? That's better. That is better. So how can I help you today? Okay, um, I have a friend named Pete, my blind friend. I go out and help him every week. And uh, I asked him if he knew any gentleman that I could meet. And he said that uh, he speaks with his aunt. And she has two sons, uh, Peter and John. They're in their 70s. I'm 67. And um, he said, well, next time she calls, you can ask her about her two sons. So I'm going to do that because I know they're both single. I don't know where they live. I know they have a home in the Cayman Islands. Colorado, but I don't know where they live. I'm out in California. Do you see me connecting with one of them? Uh, well, right away I hear a yes, but I don't know if you're going to connect on a romantic level. I know that there is going to be a great deal of conversation. And um, okay, so what I'm hearing is kindred, sp kindred spirits, kindred spirits. And I feel like you and one of them are going to have an amazing connection. Now, what exactly that means, I'm not 100% sure, but... Okay, I'm not into the romance anyway at this age. I just don't have it anymore. Okay, well then, yeah. <laughs> to tell you the truth, though. I feel yeah, like I you're... it'll be more uh, companionship. Yeah, I feel, like, um, I feel like if that's what you're looking for, that's going to happen. I feel like, again, I'm hearing kindred spirits and I feel like it's going to be a great connection and it will go um, as far as you allow it to go. I'm going, thank you so much for calling. I'm going to go to 904. Hello, 904, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, Tony, and thank you for your messages. Oh, you are I, so uh, welcome. I read a lot of stuff and listen to a lot of YouTube that talk about all that, so. I'm kind of familiar with it. I'm just waiting for the exposure to happen. <laughs> it is. And I think um, it's very scary to put it out there because there are a lot of people who have no idea. They've, um, they're have they really, they're really believing the mainstream media is the best way I can put this. And they're not listening to their own intuition, right? It's so important to, to use logic right. and say this. How come, how, here's my, this, this is what I say to everybody. How come you can be in an airplane elbow to elbow hundreds of people, but you can't be any place else like that? An airplane just regurgitates our own air. It makes, abs use logic, folks. There's this, there's so much. I mean, I could spend five hours channeling information, but that's not why people call. So, love, what's your question? How can I help you today? <laughs> now, I'm contemplating a move. I have a couple of months to think about it. Um, and I've been weighing the pros and cons, but I'm just, I'm, I can't quite decide. I just wonder if you see anything. A friend of mine has a house, and her husband passed away last year, and now she's by herself. And it's just a friendship, but she, um, you know, was offered to have me move in there, and financially it would be a good deal, and it would afford me some space to do some artwork, and, but I'm just not certain, so I just want to see what you feel around that situation. 
Okay, I do feel like if you are going to choose to move and you, you you're right, you have not decided you you're having difficulty making a decision here. But if you are going to decide to move, you need to start doing it now. Don't wait. Um, don't put it off. I feel like you need to look at all your options, not just this option. I feel like there is going to be another option coming in. Um, at the end of the day, at the end of um, the, uh, at the it, it, when it comes right down to it, when it comes right down to it, I feel like you're 60 to 70 percent going to want to stay out of comfort and convenience. And then 30 to 40 percent is wanting something new. So you have to decide, is it, you know, you feel really, here's, here's what I'm getting. You feel really safe and comfortable where you are. Um, there's no, you have control. Oh, well, there's it's just too small. Right. I mean, I have my own space. Right. It's just cramped. It's a studio and right. there's not enough room to get into things I want to get into. Right. Oh, I completely understand that. But at the and again, um, at the end of the day, when yeah. it comes time to make this final decision, I feel like you're going to go for... Um, I don't know how to say this any other way. So I don't mean this in an offensive way. Okay. And, I, and I'm going to use a bit of an analogy to explain it. Um, you're going to go for what you can control, okay. what you can control. So like um, people who live alone, even if they're moving in with a partner that they love, they're realizing, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do that. What if, what if, what if, if I just stay where I am, if I just stay here in my little safety zone, my little comfort zone, um, I'll be okay. So I'm going to just stay here and not, not step forward. Now I am going to tell you, if you do take a leap of faith and you decide to move, it will turn out wonderfully. There will be a few hiccups getting adjusted to the, um, ebb and flow of the other person. But if you do take the opportunity to move into this per with this, this friend of yours, I do feel like it is going to be a win-win situation. I feel like both of you are going to absolutely have benefits from it. You just have to watch boundaries and not get a little, um, I don't want to use the word frustrated, but just watch boundaries. Um, don't overstep boundaries with each other or, or make assumptions. Um, or, you know, sometimes somebody jumps in and just starts doing things and then later feels like, I'm doing all of this stuff and I shouldn't. So just from the get go, make it the way you want. Talk every, but it will be a really good situation. It'll be a win win situation. And I think you'll really enjoy that if you can get past the fear of not having complete control of your domain. Oh, I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I, I, I always you. say, you're so welcome. I always say, you know, I'm not the boss of anyone. I can't, don't call me and say, should I choose this guy or this guy? I can give you what spirit says it, at the end of the day, it's your decision of what you want to do and how you want to move forward. Um, I'm really not the boss of anyone. I can say if you go in this direction, it, it could turn out like this. If you go in this direction, it could turn out like that. But we have free will. We have free choice. And we are people who sometimes, against our own best efforts, um, sabotage our own stuff. That's just what we do as humans. For not, not even intentionally. And half of us don't even realize we're doing it. We really don't. So let's let's clean up some self-sabotage. This is going to be our first clearing for the show. Uh, we, uh, we all self-sabotage. I'm getting a yes. So we're going to start clearing that. You may feel this. You may not. And again, if you really sabotage or have things fall apart a lot, you might want to re-listen to this show a couple of times um, just to get it all kind of get out of that muck, get out of that programming. Okay, I'm going to go to um, 415. Here we go. Hey, 415, how are you today? Hi, Tony. I'm good. This is Anne. Hi, Anne. How can I help you? I um, am 
wondering about insomnia. I uh, didn't really sleep at all last night, and I wasn't really nervous about anything. So if there's a lot of, I don't know, energy moving around or what's going on with me. And uh, I try to meditate. And Any advice on what to do when you're in that state? Okay, so the first thing I'm getting is we're going to do like a, just a general clearing for you and your house, for anybody who's listening in their house. Okay, so you might feel some pulling, some emotions. And this is for not only everybody listening, but their homes. Because, you know, our homes get this old stagnant energy and other things ah. that might be going on. So we need to pull all of this energy. Um, the other thing I'll say is... Um, you know, sometimes I don't think it's this, but sometimes when we can't sleep, it's because we haven't worked out something in our mind. We're going back and forth or we have some indecision going on or we're discontent in an area of our life. So I'm going to clear any discontentment also. So this should help. Now, um, if you're still having difficulty sleeping, I, you know, I always tell everybody as you fall asleep, just tell your angels, take, take whatever's causing this, take it now, get it, get it out of here, get it gone. Mm. And they will, I mean, mm. and don't, I know some people like to do this, but if it's in my highest good, and if it's in the best, don't say that, just say, take right. it, you know, just get this out of here, because it's never in your highest yeah. good to not get sleep. It's never Seriously. like, <laughs> like, I don't always understand that. Like, oh, could you do this? If it's, it's, if you're asking for it, it's in your highest good. It's part of your path. It's being brought to your consciousness for that reason. So just ask. Listen, trust me, if it's not part of what you're, they're just going to be like, nope, nope, nope. So just ask. Um, <laughs> and I feel like uh, what you Point can left. what you can do also is take a spray bottle of water and get some frankincense uh -huh. oil and some um, cinnamon and clove oil. Make a nice little mixture and just spray through your rooms just to break up the stagnancy that's that's uh present so and i think that will make it feel fresh again um not that it doesn't feel fresh but just shake it in a spray in a little uh spray bottle and spray it around each room i think that will be a really good combo and it will work um and yeah, this clearing, I can already feel lighter. So I hope everybody listening or re-listening is feeling lighter yeah. already. Um, it's amazing how quickly they will take that old energy, those old energies and those old things and just like, boop, they're gone, done, done, done. So um, yeah, I feel my um, solar plexus, interesting, my yes. rib cage and solar plexus feel a lot lighter. That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? That's I love that. Yeah. When I can hear that when people actually can feel the work that's being done and they know it's been lifted from them. Um, and as we both know what our solar plexus, isn't that fear? I think so. Like being yourself and showing who you are. It's like your personal power. Okay. Personal power. So knowing that if we're not in our personal power and there's some discontent or a conflict or inner conflict, whatever it is, um, then we have a place to start. We know where we're starting. We know where we're going with this. Mm, so just, great. you know, and you don't have to focus on that area because it's done. But I feel like, okay, so here's what I'm going to oh. do for you and everybody else. I feel like uh, there are, are just a lot of blocks right now for everyone. So I'm going to do a clearing. Oh, and uh, wow, this is like literally making me a little bit dizzy, everybody, a clearing to remove blocks. So yeah. if you feel your head like a little whoo or uh, whatever yeah. it is, just know 
that's old stagnant energy energy that's blocking you from moving forward is now leaving you and i'm going to tell you for for anyone who is listening to this but also you you know we think that just because you know something happened at five or eight or 12 or whatever age it is that because it was so long ago it's not stopping us it's not affecting us but if it, it, there's and we may not even remember these incidences but if there's a little energy there it's it's not the right energy it's not a fit of energy for the energy we want i don't even know if i said that correctly but okay um yeah so we just <laughs> have to like let that stuff go even though we think we've let it go it doesn't mean we have let it go it means that we if we're feeling bogged down stuck or we are literally stuck and a lot of us are like we we have we are not um able to move forward in the way we want to move forward we're not able to have successful relationships successful work experiences and this all a lot of this goes back to childhood and what has happened there so just removing these blocks and allowing all and, and these blocks can be again in relationship money in um career any area i'm being very open with these clearings of these blocks so that oh, <laughs> there goes one now <laughs> somebody just had a big <laughs> release oh so oh, my oh. throat now it's like a lump in my throat yes <laughs> yes okay as that comes up just let it come up seconds. you may even feel that leave through your third eye or your crown and that's perfectly okay yeah. just let it go yeah. up and let it go out and for anybody else listening comment if you feel this stuff leaving just comment for me or let me know um, that you're having these experiences too, because I get a lot of emails of people telling me that was amazing. I, you know, feel like I can get up out of bed and, and actually take on my day now. <laughs> so, so, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do some fun predictions now at the beginning of the show. I only have like a couple seconds left. So unfortunately, not enough time to take another caller. However, please call back next Monday. I try to take new callers every single week. Um, and uh, I'm here for 30 minutes. This show also airs on WSCS, uh, which is my TV show, but because of everything going on this is the way we're doing it now so here are some fun predictions in the month of march and into april a lot more things are going to open up depending on where you live and please don't uh don't get upset if this is not what you want to hear if you don't feel safe going out don't go out it's okay um but a lot more things are going to go open up and we're going to be able to be out and about and enjoying our lives a bit more um, so I hope that all this show was amazing and that you loved it. I look forward to next Monday. I love you all so very much. Remember, it is your job to create the miracles that you want in your life. Nobody else is responsible for that. If you don't know how to create miracles in your life, I can, I can help you with that. It's all a matter of uh, being who you want to be being authentic being genuine and allowing yourself to believe i know it's difficult in these times but please allow yourself to do that thank you so much again for listening until next time have a miraculous week